Hello guys, another video from my car as of Saturday. Recently I tweeted that I had realized I released quite a few profitable products. So probably I have enough experience of creating profitable products, not only from development side, but also as a product owner and product creator and almost a business owner. I'm not a business owner. Historically, I don't have any business background, but just naturally I evolved into a product creator with a team. So we released Quick Admin Panel, then it was Live Wire Kit, now Filament Examples and Laravel Daily itself is a business now. So I probably could teach someone a thing or two about launching profitable products for developers. And I tweeted about it, would anyone be interested in my course on something related? But before I invest in a full course, I'm not sure if I do that. Let's start with this short video and I will give you three tips, three things that worked for me in my journey disclaimer that helped me in almost all projects I've launched and also including client projects. So I've been a freelancer for many years and before that I had a full-time job and those tips that I will share also partly came from that experience. So tip number one, successful product usually comes from small experiments in that specific niche, which you are a part of. So for many years, I've been a part of developer community in Laravel specifically. That's how Laravel Daily was born after many small experiments of blogging, vlogging, YouTubing, tweeting and stuff like that. And then at some point it turned out that I could release something as a course. With Livewire Kit, I've been sharing a lot of content on Livewire and then it evolved into a set of components. With Quick Admin Panel with the team, we released a lot of projects around admin panels and we decided to put that out as a product. Apparently, many people needed that too. So usually successful products come from people already in that niche, interested in that niche, motivated to help the customers in that niche. If you just try to launch a product for, I don't know, real estate without being a part of that real estate community and not understanding that deep enough, you will likely to fail. Then tip number two, or probably number one reason why startups fail in my experience, is they focus on solution and not the problem. So now I see gazillion of startups related to AI, trying to play around with AI and launch something with AI, no matter what. So they are focusing on cool stuff to be released with some marketing and fancy words and images, of course, generated by AI, but they don't focus on the problem. So what is the actual problem they're trying to solve? Cool pictures is not a problem. So again, with Laravel Daily, the problem was trying to help developers to solve their real issues with Laravel. With Quick Admin Panel, the problem was for people that it took too long for them to code that admin panels manually. So if you focus on solving real problem from real people, you will have so-called market validation and only then comes your solution. And quite often your solution that you envisioned in the first version or in the alpha version would be different from the final solution that would actually bring you money. In other words, don't marry your idea and your implementation, marry the problem, talk to people with that problem, and then your solution will likely change over time. And then tip number three, my personal one is audience helps. Having the audience helps. So over the years, kind of not intentionally, but I was gathering more and more followers, subscribers, online friends and offline friends, and after many years, it paid off massively. So now I can launch product and a lot of people will retweet, like, and share. So that's one benefit of having the audience. And then another benefit is a thing called branding. So branding is often misunderstood as logo and visual stuff, but branding is what people think about you without you in the room. It's about trust. So over the years, people started trusting Laravel Daily and Povilas because over the years, I was generally trying to help a lot of developers. So now if I release something, chances are they trust me more because of the past track record. So tip for you, if you want to leverage the audience for your future products, start now because it actually takes years, not months, years. I guess at least a year or two of constant tweeting, YouTubing, blogging, whatever is your preferred format, networking online and offline, and then slowly you build the audience of thousands of people, which will likely massively help, especially if you launch the product for that audience specifically. So yeah, those are three tips from my years of experience of launching my own products and products for clients. What do you think about those? Would you add something to the list? And do you want me to expand on that topic of launching profitable products into some kind of longer form format? 
ebook or course, I'm not sure yet. So again, let's do audience market validation. Would you buy and in what form an info product for me, let's call it an info product about launching profitable product. And if you have any product ideas and you're not sure whether to start them, put them in the comments below and maybe I will give my opinion on whether it's worth it. My personal opinion. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.